So this is the first of our events for additive manufacturing Europe and it's basically an event that focuses on three major verticals and that's healthcare, um, aerospace and automotive. So what Big Rip is doing here in Amsterdam is showing the first steps of the factory of the future. In our case here we brought three printers with different setups. One printer is clearly for high throughput. So what we do is a two millimeter nozzle is printing almost 10 kilograms a day. You have a much higher uh, throughput so the object is created much faster. On the other hand you're losing resolution. The layers will be thicker. This is one setup for easy and fast printing. The second setup we have is small serial production. So over one day you can actually print with a one millimeter nozzle 40 or 50 parts very close to each other but you don't have to stop the process so you're continuously printing and you can produce 40 or 50 parts very easily and very fast. And the third setup that we have is our standard setup. It's usually 0.5 millimeter or 1 millimeter, and you print one object with one function. We believe that one day you will have 20, 30, or 40 printers working together in different setups. So it could be multiple printers doing the same thing in the same setup, or it could be a gigantic, big, big object that is actually distributed to a couple of printers doing this print job together. The last um, sort of three to four years we were much more focused on showing the technology to people now our shows are very much focused on the usability of the technology. The users really want to come and look at how they can use this technology for manufacturing going forward rather than just looking at the machines and understanding the technology they now want to know how it can be used within their businesses. For the additive exhibition in Amsterdam we decided to show a different range of designs. Some are original big wrap design and some are collaboration that we have done with different artists and designers in the past year or so. We have here the longboard that was printed in one piece in two colors and in the longboard we decided to do a smart design which we call the fishbone structure that distributes the weight in a smart way within the structure of the board. We're also showing a collaboration we did together with BMW Motorcycle. In this case, it's a one-to-one -one print of a motorcycle that BMW designed, and we really wanted to show how quickly and well you can print large-scale, complex parts with a 3D printer. You can see how great the quality looks. So usually what you've seen in the last couple of years is that 80 or 90 percent of all 3D printers were used for prototyping and modeling. But what we want to do at BigRep is get to a point where you can use them as end usable parts, so really functional parts. FDM is perfect for that. What you need to do is have a higher throughput and actually uh, come to a point where the pieces that you produce don't need any extra post-processing. They are usable the way they come off the printer. And this is what customers are working on with us right now and we think one day there will be a certain amount of uh, really end usable parts being produced in FDM technology. Mm -hmm.